brought him to the station where Anderson allegedly kicked a deputy and then tried to leave again. Next tonight, the 74th Louisiana Sugarcane Festival is underway this weekend in New Iberia. The festival has all your favorites, rides, music, food and parades, but what about the crop at the center of the festival? Valerie Ponsetti joining us live from the festival now with more on how sugarcane farmers fared this year and what it could mean for the festival. Valerie. Not to worry, there will be plenty of sugar in the food, drinks, and the candy out here at the festival, but in some parts of the state, it wasn't so easy to make that happen. The Acadiana crops at this year's Louisiana Sugarcane Festival are expected to be sweeter than ever. In the immediate area in Iberia, St. Mary, it should be above average. But other areas of the state haven't had it so easy. The, the weather that they had was too much rain at the wrong time, then not enough rain, where it dried out the crops, and that, that's what has occurred. Despite the weather, retired sugarcane farmer Jesse Bro thinks the cane from all around Louisiana still has a chance. If the weather continues to hold like it has been, it, it should turn out to be a, 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 what we call an average crop for this year. Although the farming isn't always so sweet, sugarcane in Louisiana makes up a $3 billion industry, and it's the oldest in the nation. 220 years ago, in New Orleans, uh, Jesuit priests actually brought the cane into this state 220 years ago as a sweetener of some sort. And from that point on, it has grown into this major industry that we have in the state today. An industry that Bro says still deserves the recognition. We're here to celebrate this industry this weekend. The festival will continue through the weekend, finishing up with the Sugarcane Festival Royalty pr Parade on Sunday. Reporting live from the Louisiana Sugarcane Festival, I'm Valerie Ponsetti for KTC TV3. A grand reopening for Fire Station.